So I'm back continuing with part two, uh, playing Jim's Island. Now, the first one I was just showing you in the beginning of the, the steps of creating supplies from the island and how to build stuff. And so I built like a little bitty house normally. As I mentioned, I normally build it a little bit bigger, but you know, the whole mission here is just to take out this particular character and then go ahead and build and see what else I'm supposed to do on the island. I'm not really familiar with what else I'm supposed to be doing. But I believe the whole mission is just to find this particular person, Jim. I don't know if that's Jim on the mountain or not. So it can be Jim up there. It could not be Jim, so we really don't know. Um, but as I said, it's a really fun, creative, well put together island for you to play on as uh, in survivor, survivor mode. And it allows you to create and it's really easy to make things. So I, I'm actually finding like some really cool games, mini games to also regular survivor games on Wildlands, which is really, really fun and unique and different. And building and creating stuff, it's really easy. So, um, what I'm doing here, I've already started collecting like some more wood before, um, starting. So you wouldn't have to hear me do all that clicking and all that noise. Like I said, my mouse is right next to the mic. And so you can hear a lot of that. And so what I just chose to do was just collect some wood ahead of time. That way you wouldn't have to see all that. So what I want to try to do is actually um, start kind of building like clothing for her because apparently I know um, the last time I was trying to fight this particular character up here I actually had like armor on and so I just have regular clothes on so I want to try to see how I, I don't remember all the stuff that I collected to to make it so I normally go into all so I can just get like a breakdown of what I can make and what I can't make um, what is this star glasses that's cute Okay, we'll think about it. After I finish uh, attacking this uh, character, what I also learned um, when I played it before, you can make this raft, but you have to put it in the water, and actually you can go and try to see if there's another island here. And so what you do is you just walk up to it. I haven't had any experiences with sharks, but I don't know. So um, I really don't know if there's sharks out there or not. So what I've learned is uh, you can just go ahead and put it here and then leave it there and it won't go anywhere and just take your character off. That way you can have like you know that to use once we get rid of that up the hill. And um, I want to see if I can make her some armor and it doesn't look like I can not yet um, I, I, I don't remember what I collected to make that armor um, like you can make other weapons as well guns that's why I said it has like a unique way of doing things in this particular one as well um, soup veggie soup so all these different things you can make which is really fun and I knew you uh, kind of like a unique way of playing. Like I said, spoon, bases, um, torch. I'm going to make this that's so I can see at night. Uh, a wooden club to swing with. So this is standing torch. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. That way I can have it at night. A straw hat from a character. Um, and then here's the bonfire thing I wanted to make. And we'll make that later. So now it's getting hazy. And she puts her little hat on. And then we'll get her to put this down. You press 5 where it's located on the, on the low inventory information. And you press B to place it where you want to. And it'll place it. And then I have flint. Where did the other one go? Okay, so I don't know where my other flint went to. So I'm recording this the same identical day that I recorded the other one. Because if I close it out, um, it's not going to save it. 
think. So it does the same story progression. But there are other ones on Wildlands that actually um, do save story progression, but this one does not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like that. And it doesn't help. I can't really see anything. I was hoping that it would. I don't know. It's foggy, so. And um, she doesn't have to be out there. She can sit. So now she's hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some berries. Like I said, I'm not too much into killing uh, the animals. You can eat the berries and also corn and other stuff. Anything you find that's eatable. Like she can cook as I showed you before. Um, she can't sit down and eat. As far as I know, when I try to sit her down, she will not do it. So now I'm going to give her some corn. Let her eat that. That way we can get like the hungry, I'm hungry off there. So it looks like it's getting night time. I'm not sure what time it is. Yeah, it is. It's getting night. So I'm going to go ahead and have her go to sleep. Yeah, it's evening, but it's dark out there. Okay, so she's hungry. So I learned, this is just what I learned, um, when I make a campfire, it seems like it fills her up much better when I'm making the popcorn, um, and it's like she doesn't get hungry as much, so. That's when I'm getting ready to make some popcorn for her. So we'll go ahead and craft that. And then craft the veggies. Now the animals, you can tame them in this, in all the ones that I've seen, you can tame them. Um, and then when you go back to the campfire, it's going to tell you how long it takes, how many seconds it takes to cook it. And you'll come back and just take all the food and eat it. Now, from what I learned, this character won't come down the mountain, which is a good thing. But he's like right there. See where I have my little dot, this little dot right here. He's like just standing right there. So I don't know what he's doing. But um, he hasn't come here. I do have my gun. And I'll show you... Um, once I get up there, then he'll run. And, and it takes a little time to kill him because if he's running around and he's hiding in a different area, so what I'm going to try to do is build a fort where he doesn't see me. So I'm going to have to run that way so he can't see me, maybe even swim in the water or just get on the raft. So now all the food is done, so I just take it. And see, that food is automatically in there for her to eat, so she has three of those. And she's gonna let me know if she's full or not. But so now she's telling me I'm not hungry anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and get in this raft. And we're gonna try to get this creature over here. Back it up. And turn her around.
the crabs, they won't bother you. They'll just walk around. So he's, as far as I can tell, he's like over there. I don't see him, but I don't want him to see me, because soon as he see me... Is that him? That That's him. He came over here. It's like he's monitoring both areas. Here's some carrots over there. I think he's coming. What is he doing? No, he's just staying over there. Okay, hold on. Yeah, he can't see me. As long as I stay from in his view. Yeah, he can't see me at all. So let me try to build this fort really fast. I think I can build another gun too. I found having like multiple guns to take him out works best. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this here. I don't see him. Which is a good thing. Now maybe he see me and I don't see him. We're gonna see. Yeah, he's way over there. He doesn't see me. Okay, so let me put this, uh, this thing here. This is so I can step up. No! Oh. We'll press one. This is so he doesn't get his hands on me. This <laughs> is so he doesn't get his hands on me. Okay, hold on. I didn't build it like that the last time, but I'm trying to try something new. Okay, up. Over this way. Can you lay there? No, go up. You won't go. So now I'm going to use this gun to shoot at him. Mm -hmm. Watch, he runs. 